Hey guys, Stephanie with AmericaMuscle.com here with the Raxium Navigation and Touchscreen Upgrade for the S550 OE Radio for all 2015 and up Mustangs. In this video, we're going to go over a few things with the Raxium Nav and the Touchscreen Upgrade. I'm going to tell you about its features and we're going to talk about the install as well. I'll tell you right now that I'm going to call this a 1 out of 3 wrenches in the difficulty meter because it's all plug and play. You don't have to splice anything. It is a little time consuming, but I'll talk more about that later. The Raxium Navigation and Touchscreen Upgrade is going to be a good option for the S550 owners out there that have a base model Mustang and want to upgrade to a capable factory style navigation and multimedia system that comes with modern amenities like a backup camera, a touchscreen display, and even HDMI mirroring, which I'll talk more about in a second. This will work for models that came with the standard OE radio with the 4 inch screen. So I mentioned that this nav has HDMI connectivity. There's an HDMI input that's going to allow the content that's on your Android or your Apple phone to be displayed on the nav screen. So if you're connected to the unit and you're texting, it'll come up on the nav screen, which is a high def screen. So texting is not really all that exciting, but this will work for any of your mobile apps. So Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, or whatever it is that you're using while you're parked. That's pretty cool and all, but I think the best part about that is when it comes to navigation. Now this is a full GPS navigation unit, and I can talk more about that in a second. But I know that a lot of times people, including myself, are turning to their phones for navigation anymore, even if you do have a full navigation unit in front of you. Sometimes it needs to be updated and it won't show current routes, or if a road is closed, or it won't give you a heads up about road hazards or cops like certain mobile apps do. With the mirroring capabilities, instead of having to stare down at your phone, you can have that map or the app displayed on the larger screen of the Raxium unit so you have the best of both worlds. You have more of a real-time GPS through a mobile app, but you also have it displayed on the nav where it's easy to see and interact with, like a traditional nav. Another nice thing about this is that it retains the sync functions so you don't have to worry about losing those. You still have all your voice-controlled factory functions as well as the radio functions, CD, iPod, and Bluetooth hands-free systems. The other thing that this upgrade has is OBD2 reading functions. There's a built-in OBD2 reader, so you'll be able to read basic info like tire pressure, door and trunk status, and parking brake status. Now you can't read and clear trouble codes through this, but you do get some stats here. Other than that, you're still looking at a ton of other nice features. The screen is an 8-inch HD LCD touchscreen, so you can interact with it, and that's especially nice if you're mirroring your phone. Of course, it does have radio capabilities, and you can access your music from your phone as well, and it has full color backup screen. This is a high resolution and double the size of the factory screen. And of course, you're looking at a full warranty through Raxium here. The nav system does use a software that has some cool features to it too. It gives voice and visual turn-by-turn -turn directions on the screen. You have 2D, 3D, and topography routing directions, and 3D building views for major cities. All of the map software is preloaded, so this will all be available on in initial startup. You won't have to download anything or update any SD cards or anything like that. And of course, it has maps for both the US and for Canada. The unit is going to come with everything you need for the install. You have your screen, your interface box, a factory style dash bezel so you can maintain a factory like appearance and still keep all of your dash controls. You also get the GPS antenna, HDMI cable, aux cable, and your other needed cables and your main wiring harness. As far as price, you're not looking at breaking the bank here, luckily. This is a unit with new technology and capabilities, and it's going to upgrade you so that you won't be missing the OE unit. You're looking at spending close to $800 for this. The install for this is easy. It's a one out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter. It's gonna take about two hours total to get it all done. The install is all plug and play. You won't have to splice any wires or cut or have to worry about any of that. You need a few basic hand tools to get the job done. Basically, you need to remove the center console so you have to disconnect any connections and take off some trim pieces so you can get the control panel out. The sync unit is behind this panel and that needs to be removed along with the radio unit. The Raxian wiring harness will plug right into the factory harness. You have to plug in some input wires and cables into the back of the new nav unit and reinstall all of the pieces that you removed. Once you have everything plugged in and ran and in position, it's just a matter of getting the center console back together and getting your backup camera ran in in place. Raxium does get step-by-step -step instructions and it tells you how to set up your unit on startup as well, so they make it easy. Wrapping things up here with the Raxium navigation and touchscreen upgrade, this unit has quite a few capabilities like HDMI mirroring and Bluetooth. It still is a full GPS navigation unit that'll work for both sync and non-sync cars and maintains all of the sync functions. There's a lot to look at with this unit, so I suggest you check it out more online for yourself right here at AmericaMuscle.com.